ड्यूरिंग एन इंजुरी द ब्लड प्लेटलेट्स रिलीज थ्रोम्बोप्लास्टिन आर क्यू वैल्यू डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ सब्सटेट सब्सटेट माइट बी अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट और इट माइट बी अ प्रोटीन और अ लिपिड इफ ओनली फोटो पॉस्फोरिलेशन अकर्स ओनली ए टी पी विल बी फॉर्म एंड नो एन ए डी पी हेच हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ दिस के सी टी टू थाउजेंड एट मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन Given below are two statements A and B. Choose the correct answer related to the statements. Statement A: Amino acids are amphoteric in their function. Statement B: All amino acids are necessary for our body. Statement A: Amino acids are amphoteric in their function is correct. Why? Amino acids are amphoteric in nature, which means they can behave both as acids as well as bases due to the presence of acidic group. That is C O O H carboxyl group and basic group amino group N H two, and amino acids are as we know they are the building blocks of proteins and uh, all the twenty amino acids are necessary for our body. So both the statements A and B are correct. So option A statement is wrong and B is correct is wrong. Option B both the statements A and B are wrong is wrong. Option C statement A is correct and statement B is wrong. Both the statements A and B are correct is correct. So option D is correct. Moving on to question number forty-two. Plants like Agel Mormilos, Osimum Sanctum, and Ficus religiosa are a group of plants designated as Agel Mormilos is nothing but what we call it as golden apple. Then Osimum Sanctum Tulsi. Then Ficus religiosa people tree. so are a group of plants designated as what as sacred plants why because as we know some plants are used for sacred and ceremonial purposes and are known as sacred plants for example even you can take shami plant that is banni in kannada like recently we have we celebrated dasara and on the 10th day of dasara we exchange the banni which is otherwise called shami so it is considered as sacred species of plants so option a traditional food crop is wrong option b sacred species of plants is correct option c medicinal plant species is wrong option d lesser known food plants is wrong so option b is correct sacred species of plants moving on to question number 43 in the diagram given by the side different parts are indicated by alphabets choose the answer in which these alphabets correctly match with the parts they indicate so this is the diagram of tenia solium right tape form so we need to identify the parts like mouth tentacle sucker segments b sucker hair ring proglottids c rostrum hook sucker proglottids uh, d suctorial mouth hook sucker segment as you know it belongs to phylum platyhelminths flat worms which is usually a parasite so option a is rostrum here b you can call it as hooks then c we can call it as sucker and d proglottids which will have both the male and the female reproductive organs so option a rostrum b hooks c sucker d proglottids we'll go to the first option a mouth is wrong b a sucker is wrong C A rostrum is correct. Then here suctorial mouth is wrong. B hooks here it is B hooks correct. There it is wrong. All the three options are wrong. C is sucker correct. D is proglottids correct. So option C is correct. Moving on to question number forty-four. In vascular bundle, if xylem vessels develop in a centripetal fashion, the xylem is likely to be. endarch exarch c misarch and d centrarch in exarch condition the protoxylem is found outside the metaxylem that is in exarch condition the protoxylem is towards the endodermis and the metaxylem is towards the pith each xylem strand develops inwards towards the center and is thus centripetal in development so The xylem is likely to be in what condition? Exarch condition. 
ऑप्शन ए एंडार्च इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन बी एक्सार्च इज करेक्ट दैट इज प्रोटोजोलम इज टूवर्ड्स द एंडोडर्म इज एंड मेटाजोलम इज टूवर्ड्स द पिथ एंड एंड इज सेंट्रपेटल फैशन दैट इज मिसार्च इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन डी सेंट्रार्च इज रॉन्ग सो ऑप्शन बी एक्सार्च इज करेक्ट मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लान मेटीरियल इज एन एफिशियंट वॉटर इम्बीबेंट दैट विच एडजॉर्ब वॉटर अगर बी सेलुलोस सी लिग्निन एंड डी पैक्टिन वी नो दैट अगर इज एन एफिशियंट वॉटर इम्बीबेंट एज इट इज कॉम्पोनेंट मेडअप ऑफ सब यूनिट्स ऑफ शुगर कॉल गैलेक्टोस and uh, when it is dissolved in boiling water and cool it looks like a gel and is often used to solidify the culture media as we know agar is one of the very important material for culturing the medium which is used in tissue culture as it cannot be degraded by bacteria so which of the following plant material is an efficient water imbibent it is agar so option a agar is correct option b cellulose is wrong option c lignin is wrong option d pectin is wrong so option a agar is correct moving on to question number 46 when body tissues are injured resulting in the loss of blood the process of blood clotting begins and the blood platelets release prothrombin b thrombin c fibrinogen and d thromboplastin during an injury the blood platelets release thromboplastin which converts plasma protein prothrombin into thrombin in the presence of calcium ions thrombin then converts soluble plasma protein uh, that is fibrinogen into fibrin which forms a meshwork by trapping red blood cells thus forming a clot so it is thromboplastin so option a prothrombin is wrong b thrombin c fibrinogen is wrong d thromboplastin is correct so option d is correct moving on to question number 47 according to the lacoparan concept which functional unit of the bacterial gene material is responsible for suppressing the activity of the operator gene in the absenteeism of lactose option a promoter gene option b repressor protein option c regulator gene and option d the structural gene so lack of parent you know we it consists of the following that is a structural genes operator gene promoter gene and regulator gene it is the regulator gene so in the absence of lactose the regulator gene which codes for a protein called repressor combines with operator gene to stop its action thus the regulator gene suppresses the activity of the operator gene so it is the regulator gene which is going to suppress the activity of the operator gene in the absence of lactose so it is regulator gene so option a promoter gene is wrong option b repressor protein is wrong option c regulator gene is correct option d structural gene is wrong so option c is correct moving on to question number 48 a hybrid where the cytoplasm of two parent cells are fused by retaining only one parent nucleus is called option a an interbreed option b symmetric somatic hybrid and option c asymmetric somatic hybrid and option d cybrid so a hybrid where the cytoplasm of two parent cells are fused by retaining only one parent nucleus is called sci sci hybrid cells sometimes a sci hybrid cell is produced when the nuclei of one parent gets eliminated during the developmental stages and only the cytoplasm of two cells fuse containing the nucleus of only one parent so option a interbreed is wrong option b symmetric somatic hybrid is wrong option c asymmetric somatic hybrid is wrong option d cybrid is correct so option d is correct moving on to question number 49 a sexually transmitted disease symptomized by the development of canker on genitals is caused by the infection of option a human immunodeficiency virus that is hiv virus which causes aids hepatitis b virus which causes hepatitis b treponema pallidum 
which causes the canker in the genitals. Neisseria gonorrhea, which causes gonorrhea disease. So the bacteria which causes syphilis is called Tropanema pallidum, which is responsible for canker development, uh, which means lesion type of infection and painful source on the genitals. So option A, HIV virus is wrong because it causes AIDS. Hepatitis B is wrong. Option C, Tropanema pallidum is correct. Option D, Neisseria gonorrhea is wrong. So option C is correct. Moving on to question number 50, a phenomenon where the third base of tRNA at its 5 dash end can pair with a complementary base of mRNA is called option A degeneracy, option B obling, option C universality, option D collinearity. We know that the redundant codons which specify the same amino acids are related to each other by a sequence. For example, let us take leucine. Leucine is specified by codons called CUU, then CUA, CUC, here and CUG. All the codons are same, you can observe there, all the codons are same except the ones at the third position. So you can see the difference in the third position here, here and here, also here. Uh, except the ones at the third position. The third position is known as wobble position, which can change but still specify the same amino acid. So it is called wobble. Option A, degeneracy is wrong. Option B, wobbling is correct. Option C, universality is wrong. Option D, collinearity is wrong. So option B is correct. Moving on to question number 51. Identify the plant parts whose Transverse sections show a clear and prominent pith. Option A, dicot root and monocot root. Option B, dicot stem and dicot root. Option C, dicot stem and monocot stem. Option C, dicot stem and monocot root. Pith is large and well developed, particularly in dicot stem and monocot root, which is made up of thin walled, colorless parenchymatous cells with lot of intercellular spaces. So the plant parts whose transverse section shows a clear and prominent pith is dicot stem and monocot root. Option A, dicot root and monocot root is wrong. Option B, dicot stem and dicot root is wrong. Option C, dicot stem and monocot stem is wrong. Dicot stem correct and monocot root is correct. So option D is correct. Option D is correct. Moving on to question number 52. In the diagram of the lateral view of the human brain, parts are indicated by alphabets. Choose the answer in which these alphabets have been correctly matched with the parts which they indicate. Temporal lobe, parietal lobe, cerebrum, medulla oblongata, frontal lobe. 2. Frontal lobe, temporal lobe, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, parietal lobe. 3. Temporal lobe, parietal lobe, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, frontal lobe. 4. Frontal lobe, temporal lobe, cerebrum, medulla oblongata, occipital lobe. So first one A is frontal lobe, frontal lobe. B is, you can see the lobe here, it is temporal. Then we have C that is cerebellum, this is called small brain, right? Then D is medulla oblongata, medulla oblongata. Then E is the parietal lobe. So first one is frontal lobe, A is frontal lobe, B is temporal lobe, C is cerebellum, D is medulla oblongata, E is parietal lobe. Now let us go for the first one. A is temp frontal lobe, here it is temporal lobe, wrong. Here it is frontal lobe, correct. Three, temporal lobe, wrong. Here it is frontal lobe. Go for the second one, temporal lobe. Here it is temporal lobe, correct. So one is wrong and three is wrong. Second one is B is temporal lobe. Here also it is correct. Go for the next one. C is cerebellum. Here C is cerebrum, wrong. Here it is C, cerebellum, correct. D is medulla oblongata. Here D is medulla oblongata. Then E is parietal lobe. E is parietal lobe. So here it is occipital. So second option is correct. So option A to 
B3, C1, D4. So second option is the correct combination. So option A is option A2, that is second one is correct. Moving on to question number 53. Of all the environmental factors, which is the most influential in determining the rate of transpiration? Option A, relative humidity of atmosphere, B, temperature, C, light and D, water. Transpiration as we know is the process by which the plant loses water through stomata. So there are several factors which affect the rate of transpiration may it be like light, humidity, temperature, wind. But it is the humidity which is going to affect the rate of transpiration and it will be more. So plants transpire more at higher temperature. So option A relative humidity of atmosphere is correct. Option B temperature is wrong. Option C light is wrong. Option D water is wrong. So option A is correct. Moving on to question number 54. Curved portion of endless loop of the nephrons are lined by option A ciliated epithelium, option B cuboidal epithelium, option C squamous epithelium and option D columnar epithelium. We all know that the loop of Henle is the U-shaped portion of the nephron of kidney uh, which leads from PCT to DCT that is from proximal convoluted tubule to distal con convoluted tubule. So the curved portion of Henle's loop is lined by squamous epithelium and this squamous epithelium enables rapid diffusion of blood and diffusion of small molecules. So option A ciliated epithelium is wrong, option B cuboidal epithelium is wrong, option C squamous epithelium is correct and option D columnar epithelium is wrong. So option C is correct. Moving on to question number 55. In succulent plants like Opentia, the RQ value will be option A infinity, option B zero, option C less than one and option D more than one. I think all of us know RQ is equal to CO2 evolved by O2 consumed. So it is calculated by RQ is equal to CO2 evolved by O2 consumed and RQ value depends upon the type of substrate. Substrate might be a carbohydrate or it might be a protein or a lipid. Opentia which is a succulent plant, respiration takes place at night when stomata are open which results in the formation of oxygen without evolving CO2. So this results in incomplete oxidation of food without evolving CO2. So thus the RQ value will always be what? Zero. So here zero in succulent plants like Opentia. So option A infinity is wrong. Option B zero is correct. Option C less than one is wrong. Option D more than one is wrong. So option B is correct. Moving on to question number 56. An autosomal genetic disorder called crido chart is caused due to option A deletion, option B duplication, option C non-disjunction and option D mutation. Crido chart syndrome which is also called as cat cry syndrome because they make a sound like a cat. So it is called cat cry syndrome which is an autosomal disorder caused due to monosomy that is 2n minus 1. Deletion of the small portion, small arm of chromosome number 5. So the symptoms are of the disorder are retarded growth, microcephaly, very small head. Uh, so it is a autosomal disorder caused due to deletion. So option A, deletion is correct. Option B, duplication is wrong. Option C, non-disjunction is wrong. Option D, mutation is wrong. So option A is correct. Moving on to question number 57. Notochord skeletal system and dermis of the skin are the derivatives of ectoderm, B endoderm, C mesoderm, D all the three layers. The mesoderm can be as we know the three germ layers, outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm and inner endoderm are responsible for the process of formation of tissues, tissues into organs. So the mesoderm can be subdivided into axial, paraaxial, intermediate and lateral plate mesoderm. 
So the paraaxial mesoderm, that is mesoderm, will give rise to somites, which will differentiate into muscles, cartilage, bone, and dermis. So notochord, skeletal system, and dermis of skin are the derivatives of mesoderm. Option A, ectoderm is wrong. Option B, endoderm is wrong. Option C, mesoderm is correct. And option D, all the three layers is wrong. So option C is correct. Moving on to question number 58. Photosynthesis cannot continue for long if during light reaction, only cyclic photophosphorylation takes place. This is because option A, there is unidirectional cyclic movement of the electrons. B, there is no evolution of oxygen. C, only ATP is formed, NADPH and H plus is not formed. Then D, photosystem 1 stops getting excited at a wavelength of light beyond 680 Nm. If only photophosphorylation occurs, only ATP will be formed and no NADPH. So due to non-production of NADPH, the process further will stop as both ATP and NADPH are required for dark reaction to take place. So option A, there is unidirectional cyclic movement of electrons is wrong. Option B, there is no evolution of oxygen is wrong because there is what? The A, only ATP is formed and no NADPH. So only ATP is formed, NADPH is not formed is correct. Then D, photosystem 1 stops getting excited at a wavelength of light beyond 680 Nm is wrong. So option C is correct. Moving on to question number 59, which of the following sequences is truly a systemic circulation pathway? I think all of us know human heart is called as a double pump, which involves double circulation. One is called the pulmonary circulation and the other one is called the systemic circulation. So pulmonary, the right side of the heart is involved in pulmonary circulation and the left side of the heart is involved in systemic circulation. That is from left auricle to left ventricle, from left ventricle to iota, from iota it is supplied to arteries, from arteries to tissues and again from there to the veins and as we know again the impure blood from the different parts of the body is collected by superior vena cava and inferior vena cava and it is poured into the right auricle. So that is the correct sequence. So left auricle, left ventricle, pulmonary iota is wrong. Left auricle, left ventricle, iota, arteries, tissues, veins, right atrium is correct. So right ventricle, no wrong. Then right auricle, then left ventricle, iota is wrong. So option B is the correct pathway. Moving on. To the last 60th question, oxalo, uh, oxalosuccinic acid, an intermediary compound of Krebs cycle is a option A, 4 carbon compound, option B, 3 carbon compound, option C, 5 carbon compound and option D, 6 carbon compound. So oxalosuccinic acid is formed during the fourth step of Krebs cycle and it is formed from isocitrate, which is a 6 carbon compound, which is a 6 carbon compound by the removal of a pair of hydrogen atoms in the presence of the enzyme called isocitrate dehydrogenase. So oxalosuccinic acid, an intermediary compound of Krebs cycle is a 6 carbon compound. Option A, 4 carbon compound is wrong. Option B, 3 carbon compound is wrong. Option C, 5 carbon compound is wrong. Option D, 6 carbon compound is right. So option D is correct. Hope you all have understood KCT 2008 biology paper analysis of all the 60 questions. So I'll be back with one more paper in the coming session. Till then, goodbye and thank you.